Welcome to the Behind the Art Inspiration podcast. And we have this very special edition of Chain Reaction episodes. And this is like, we have a bunch of episodes and this is one that's just coming up today. And I'm in the house of artist Wendy Vale in Jamestown, New York. And I'm surrounded by several of the artists from the International Online Collective that, and we have just met like in person for the first time. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. We just had our very first opening for Chain Reaction. And seven of us are still in their homes and their countries, but um, we are here today. And this is Booker, and I love Booker so much. Um, anyways, I want to go around. Uh, I'm going to start with Barbara. Barbara, introduce yourself again, because you've been on the podcast before. And tell everybody where you're from and a little, sure. little bit about yourself. Hello, everybody. I am Barbara Pastorino and I come from Milan. I'm an abstract artist and my works are mainly inspired by travel and by literature. Hi, I'm Ruth Christensen. I'm Scottish, but I live in England now and enjoying being in Jamestown, New York for the first time. Um, I paint mainly, but do anything that's arty. <laughs> I am Greta Olivas. I am, live in Florence, Oregon. I paint abstract work that um, I feel is full of energy. I'm Ina Malastovka, originally from Russia. Now I live in Miami, Florida, and I'm a photographer and photo, art, photo artist, and trying to paint a little bit. <laughs> I am Nijerno <laughs> Bobrik, <laughs> uh, originally from Argentina, and I live in Jersey City right now, and I am very happy to be here among friends. <laughs> That's the tea kettle. They're still That's waiting so for some tea. Yeah. And I am also an abstract painter. <laughs> <laughs> Take it off the heat. Yep. Oh. And, um, and I'm Wendy Gale. I'm a nature artist and an environmentalist here in Jamestown, New York. And I'm really excited to welcome all of these wonderful artists who I've only known online for the most part to my home and to be able to start up the Chain Reaction World Tour right here in Jamestown, New York. So, and uh, that's my dog, Booker, who has been very welcoming. <laughs> Enthusiastic. <laughs> Enthusiastically welcoming of, of, a, of a big house full of artists. And I'm your host, Caroline Karp, from Safety, the Safety Harbor of Clearwater, Florida area and um, I'm your host. I'm so excited to be here with all these fun people. We've had a day of art starting early in the morning all the way through dinner. I think we might even do art later but the main reason we are here, I'm going to pass the torch over to Ruthie. She's going to talk about why we're here in Jamestown and then we're just going to have a little bit of a dialogue about what we experienced during our opening. So Ruthie, tell us about the project. We are here for the inaugural exhibition of the Chain Reaction project, which started online, thank you, started online uh, amongst us all two and a half years ago. And uh, we've been working solidly on this project for to just over two years and a uh, hundred individual pieces of art produced by 14 of us, the International Online Art Collective, inspiring each other constantly week after week for two years, producing a hundred lovely pieces of art, which I saw on the wall in Jamestown, New York yesterday for the first time and um, quite emotional really to see it all up there, all our hard work, working on online together with Zoom calls over 17 time zones, try organising that. 
Um, and it's been an absolute pleasure to spend time with these lovely people who I'd only seen on a screen up until recently, and getting to know them and hope it's not the first time that we all meet together. Um, <laughs> or even the last the time, time. <laughs> yeah. Right. Very well. <laughs> We're a little bit tired now because literally we've been a whole day. It's been a long few days, but absolute pleasure. Just delighted to be here, delighted to meet these guys and um, share the project with the world for the first time. So we've been sharing little tidbits um, over the last uh, few months and now you can see it all. We're sharing the whole thing now online and um, we'll talk about that in a minute. I want to invite Barbara to speak in Italian to our Italian friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Siamo qui a Jamestown, New York, ospiti dell'artista Wendy Bale, la nostra amica che ci ospita. Noi siamo sette rappresentanti del gruppo International Online Art Collective che eh, raggruppa 14 artisti eh, provenienti da molti paesi diversi. Um, il progetto Chain Reaction è iniziato circa due anni fa um, è cominciato con un singolo quadro che ha ispirato quello successivo. Uh, ora noi abbiamo circa 100 quadri che rappresentano il corpus di questa mostra e che abbiamo avuto l'onore di vedere uh, su una, sulla, sulla, nella galleria esposti per la prima volta soltanto ieri e anche noi ci siamo incontrati per la prima volta fisicamente uh, soltanto in questi giorni grazie alla serata inaugurale della mostra Chain Reaction. Thank you. And I'm just going to kind of go around the room and get everybody's just impressions of what the evening was like and just let you speak for a little bit. So we're going to go with Greta. Um, first of all, just seeing the work in person was so different, so much more powerful. Mm -hmm than seeing it online and um, I kept catching myself looking across the room and noticing pieces that it's almost like I hadn't noticed it I had to go back and see it and all night long I kept thinking did I see that one I need to go look closer and uh, it was just fun to be absorbed and look at each piece uh, for the first time in person um, uh, conversations with people at the gallery uh, were amazing. Um, I had one lady say that she was emotional when she was trying to, I, I told her about the piece, where it came from, and she got emotional saying, I was about to say the same thing, and she got choked up and almost started crying, and um, which made me feel like this is why I do what I do, because it touches people. And um, so just to see people get so drawn into all our work and find out how did we get inspired from one piece to the next, which is fascinating for us to even talk about, uh, to see it in person, uh, because some are not obvious. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that was really fun. Yeah. That was really fun. And you know, that was Tina. And and Tina mm -hmm. is a friend of mine who I know from the Clay House, and I really haven't known her very long. She's not um, somebody who I know real, real well, but she's someone who I'm getting to know pretty well from, from hanging out at the Clay House with her. And um, she she loves doing all kinds of different art and trying new things. She's taking my classes. She loves rock paper. She's, you know, <laughs> she's, she's, uh, she's very inquisitive. Mm -hmm. And I, I have no doubt that seeing your your piece that brought hope to her is something that will mm -hmm. that will appear in what she's doing. You will have made that chain that. reaction go to I her. I'm that. I'm quite sure of it. I love that. Well, and today's um, events that we did, <laughs> uh, getting people to work on artwork, being inspired by some of our pieces was fascinating because yeah. it made them look at things and try things differently that they wouldn't have done before. And I think that's that's gonna stay with them too. So that was really fun. Yeah. 
That was great. Art for all. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, my experience was in Booker Loves Us. Like Booker <laughs> just <laughs> loves us. So anyways, um, my experience was uh, I was looking at a chain, like a chain of, um, what we mean by chain is that one painting inspires the next painting, inspires the next painting by the different artists. And we, you know, we get a narrative along with the artwork that tells us, you know, the inspiration behind the piece. And so this one I, I keep going to um, was started by Gerda, um, who's a South African artist that is still, you know, she wasn't able to make it to the show. But uh, it was um, a lone woman walking on the shore, right? And um, with there was text in the sky. And so I kind of made it kind of a romantic picture. And I, I took kind of the same woman in and put a man, right? And then it, it, you know, it says, uh, beautiful, bountiful, blissful am I. And then uh, the next one, I sent it to Guillermo. Guillermo. <laughs> right. And then Guillermo did something quite, I don't know. Tell us about what you did and then, yeah. Well, I... Uh, what did you do? What, what did you do? Did you do? <laughs> yeah. I, I like long evenings with wine glasses and spirited arguments, discussions. <laughs> so I always take the flip side of an argument. Because I think that people get sort of, uh, you know, blinders and just see one side of something and they don't ever consider the flip side. So I like doing that. And what I saw in Caroline's painting was a very peaceful, idyllic love story. And they were, you know, the uh, man and woman just looking out to sea and it looked as if they were ready to just walk into the water and just go swimming or just enjoy themselves and it did really remind me of the story of I, I grew up in Argentina and there was this famous poet Alfonsina Storni she was a very strong wealt woman one of the first feminists in, in Argentina and she actually committed suicide by jumping from the pier onto the rocks. You know, there was a cliff and there were rocks. But the whole mythology was built around her suicide. And there are songs and, and poems about her just walking into the sea, just peacefully embracing death, which is very different from the real story. That's usually the real story is very you know, it's not more complicated than... You know, and very different from what they're very different. <laughs> and so, Right, so I saw this couple seemingly walking into the sea and I thought of the myth. And then I thought, well, you know, the myth, the real story behind the myth is a tragic one. And again, because, you know, I like to go, if you're going to paint something bright, I'm going to go to the dark side. If you paint something dark, I'm going to go to the bright side. So uh, I just... Produced a collage, which again was the first time I, I did a collage. And you know, it has her picture and uh, you know, a lot of red blood. Um, and you know, I, I, I actually, it felt good doing it. I'm which glad I helped you. It's, you know, points to my uh, dark side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that just shows you a chain. And I think Poseidon was coming up. Next, and then I'm going to go to Ina because I'm aware I haven't. Yes. So, Ina. Yes. Would you like me to ask you a question or do you just want Please. to talk about no, something? Yes, okay. <laughs> so, I remember back at the very beginning of this project that you were a little unsure how, no, how you were going to participate in our 2D, 3D pieces as a photographer. In our manual pieces, yes. Where you actually have to hold the brush. Yes. <laughs> so tell us about the experience because That's actually yes. they're beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. So tell us about your blossoming. Well, my very first and talk loudly because this camera's way over there. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I was really stressing out, actually every round. <laughs> oh. But the, um, the very first piece was a photograph, just a straight photograph. I got Guillermo's, Guillermo's piece, yeah. and I saw an abstract, and actually, it's, it actually has a footprint on it, but I didn't mm -hmm. see the footprint until I actually <laughs> mailed my piece out. I, would see, I just saw an yep. abstract, and I'm like, oh my god, what do I do yeah. with an abstract? I remember your email saying, ah, oh, now I see it. <laughs> <laughs> but it has like little details in that that look like, um, um, what do you call the inside of the flower thingies? Yes. And um, so it looked to me like a deconstructed flower, so I thought I'd put it together. So I just took a, you know, it was a straight photograph of a flower that I made a little bit artsy. But then as it came along, I, then I started doing a little more of a composite digital work. And then I even painted a, a couple of pieces. Like everybody's painting, I guess I probably should try and pick up a brush. But also, I mean, it's been over two years, and I, um, you know, it, it it was contagious. So uh, well, hanging you took, out with all these artists. And you yeah. took classes too. I took yeah, some classes. I mean, I never in my life <laughs> did I think that I was creative. Never. I mean, I hear people like you know drawing in classes as children. I mean, never. I mean, my thing was like, no, I don't draw ever. Um, so this was something completely new and different for me mm -hmm. um, over the last year. So, uh, yeah, I would like to, you know, we have sort of, all of us, done something that, you know, slightly different from what we usually do or, or you know, veer away from our styles. But I think that Ina, of all of us, is the one that went well beyond what she was doing before. Susan as well. Right? Yeah, Susan went back to her roots. Right, she went back to her okay. roots. But, but again, mm. you know, Ina took classes and, and uh, you know, I think she's... About two she's years ago, when I, you know, I was part of another um, art group where um, we had to do a mural and I was trying to draw something that I needed to draw for my thing and somebody looked at it and I said, oh yeah, you're a good photographer. <laughs> <laughs> but then I, you know, but then yeah, I took classes and it turned out actually I could do something. So my family is still like can't believe it. Like we actually have an artist in the family. <laughs> that's well, great. I think that spirit of, ex of experimentation that this has allowed. I mean, Morrison is another one that mm -hmm. that did a lot of experimenting mm -hmm. with with different things because he was not able to do um, his his normal. Um, Lotus, Lotus print. Stuff, yeah. mm -hmm. So he he really experimented with some interesting things, mm -hmm. particularly at the yeah. beginning. So I I think that was it was good to kind of force us to be pushed out of pushed out of that normal normal range of uh, what our comfort zone is. Mm -hmm. Very much so. You 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 have no idea what you're gonna get, especially yeah. the first few rounds. We didn't see anything other than the, that one work that's coming to you. Yeah. Later on, we got to see a little bit more of the background up here, and if you, you're waiting for that Tuesday, and sometimes it's not a Tuesday, yeah. sometimes it arrives a little bit early, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then, oops, surprise, okay, why don't you do that? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you know, I heard a lot of that today from the people that we were working with. Was, you know, I have never, I've never made a collage before. I'm an artist, but I've never made a collage. Or I'm not a creative. I'm not an artist. I don't do art. But they were willing to try, mm -hmm. yeah. and I think that was really the beauty of, of those art events that we did today was yeah. getting people to try. And know. they surprised themselves. Yes. Too. Yeah. Which was fun. Can you? This was a big creative effort on your part. <laughs> yeah, right? it was. Can you talk a little bit about this? Yeah. This is this is the magazine that, published by Wendy. <laughs> yeah. Well, we self-published this magazine as as a um, a companion to the show, and we were able to take biographies that we had, we have of each of the artists in here. So each one is here's Nina with her flower that she was just talking about. But each one has a biography of the artist, and then there's also some little stories about things that have happened. 
Hey, oh, it's that's not what they do when mommy's on the phone. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Butter. Sorry. Excuse me. It's okay. She'll Listen, be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna edit that out. Sorry. Um, I don't edit. But we also have some narratives in here, and we have we have a a little bit of what we had put in the in the narratives to show sort of the inspiration behind each of these pieces that you might not get from just looking at them. So we did little excerpts from that. Some of the juicier tidbits of that are in here, but you can actually see the full narratives online when you look at the online show, oh, yes. which is a really nice way to look at that because you can look at the work and then click on it. Because Adela did an amazing job and she did that so quickly. She put that, she put that together so that the artwork is up, you click on it and then you get the story behind it. So I think this is going to be a really interesting way for, it's a multimedia way of looking at this event. I mean, you can look at the, at the show just as the artwork, but you're not really seeing those narratives. So I think looking at it as a companion online to it, and it's nice for the people that are here in Jamestown, New York, to be able to do that. So I want to invite our viewers to do a few things. One is to visit the website. International Online Art. What is the website? IOIC.art. IOIC. Visit that, and there you're going to find our show because it just went live online. Uh, I also invite you to watch a video that was made that um, we're actually talking, all 14 artists are talking in. in um, about their artwork and what inspired them. So that's kind of a nice uh, compilation of kind of like a retrospective of the whole process. And um, also invite you to um, follow us, you know, because this was just the first show and we're, we're going to be going places and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to be going to DC with our show. And um, does anybody else want to say anything? Before I say goodbye? Yeah, I, okay. I, I think it would be great if we would just do a shout out to all the artists. Yes, please. So we have, we are International Online Art Collective, mm. and we are Adela Creative, who lives in Spain, Barbara Pastorino, who is from Italy, Caroline Karp, from the good old USA. <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl Burrell from, from the USA. Christy DeWitt from the Netherlands, Gerda Smith from South Africa, Greta Olivas from the good old USA again, Corinne McComb-Jones from New Zealand, Morrison Polkinghorne from Australia, Ruth Christensen from the UK, Susan Detroit from the US, and myself from the US. And did I miss anybody? You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we have an you on. Yeah. Me. And I know, I was like, where is, I, mean, I was Jim. getting ready for, um, yeah, I missed a whole line here. <laughs> Gajero, <laughs> from the USA, Ina Molestoker from the we USA. And I think we got them all this time. <laughs> this time. Even with a cheat sheet, I missed some. <laughs> so that's the funny thing about this, this, you know, collective is, we didn't know how to pronounce each other's name <laughs> <laughs> until like three years later, like Guillermo. <laughs> we were all calling him Guillermo, Guillermo, or Guillermo. 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 <laughs> um, but thank you for joining us. We thought this was going to be ten minutes. I have no idea how long it is, but Oscar, who's over on the side, is going to push the button at the <laughs> oh, um, and I just want to say goodbye and thank you. Bye. Yep, we're Bye. ready. Bye. Bye. Bye.